Most cruise lines have very strict requirements for proper ID in order to get on board. Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us what can go wrong without acceptable documentation in his Don't Waste Your Money report. The cruise industry is back and thousands of Pennsylvania travelers have been booking cruises again this year. But before you go, a warning. I still cry all the time over it. For Debbie Schwab and Blanche White, a cruise on the Celebrity Summit was supposed to be a dream trip. They headed to Fort Lauderdale with their bags and documents, including... My original birth certificate, my driver's license, the COVID test. But as they were boarding... They said it wasn't the right one. Her 1969 hospital certificate was not acceptable ID. They said it was decorative. It wasn't state issued. They had to go home. They wouldn't help us. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm still, I know, I know, I can't even talk about it. They slept at the airport, finally flying home, out the $3,000 they had paid for everything. Taking a Caribbean cruise is very different than going on a domestic sailing. You're leaving the United States, so it's important to have every essential piece of paper, or else you could be denied boarding too. Absolutely, John, happens every day. Travel agent Jerry Katz says a passport is not needed for most Caribbean cruises. However, he says cruise lines typically require a state-issued birth certificate, not a hospital certificate. It's a com commemorative uh, keepsake for mom and dad, but it has no significant relevance and no citizenship relevance for anyone traveling internationally. Katz says his agents would have spotted the fine print on celebrities' website stating that baptism papers, hospital birth certificates are not acceptable ID. We contacted Celebrity asking if the women could get a refund. The cruise line promised to investigate. It was a nightmare. So check with the cruise line, not just a third party travel agency, to make sure you know exactly what's required, that we don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC 27 News.